Look, I know we got off on the wrong foot at the start of the year. You were stinky, you were crummy, you didn't smell anything like what I thought you would. But then you warmed and you changed and now I can't live without you. I can't. So I just have one question to ask you. Will you always be my bar and join my Scentsy Club? Those graphics are terrible. And that acting. Hello, would you like some popcorn? Ah, I knew it. You're here because you heard that I melted all 25 of my Bring Back My Bars. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm glad you're here because there's so many things that have changed. That's right. Some of the top scents ended up not being that good, and some of the ones that I didn't really care for ended up being on the top. In order to find out which ones, make sure that you stay through the opening credits. Buckle up your seatbelts, you're not gonna wanna miss this. Before we begin, I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel, add one more rose to the elegant bouquet. I would also like to preface this video by saying that I value your time, so I'm going to divide this series into two parts so you can watch them at your leisure. This one is going to be about the top 10 and the honorable mentions within the top 10. So without further ado, let's get started. Number 10 is Pima Cotton. Now I personally adored this scent, so that is why it is still on my top 10. My mom and my hubby, however, begged to differ. My mom thought it smelled like a laundromat. She was trying to be so kind and telling me not to take it out because she knew that I loved it so much. But um, she kept on leaving the living room and not wanting to come back in because it smelled so strong. It smelled so strongly of laundry detergent. So this was not her favorite. It's still mine because I love the smell of laundry and and um, clothing being washed and that is my favorite scent in the entire world so i adore that and this like i said this remained on my top 10 but definitely not in everybody's number nine vanilla cream some of you remember this scent being number nine on my 10 least favorite scents but it inverted once i warmed it Holy cow, this is a fantastic scent to put on if, you have, if you're having a bunch of people over and you just want a nice neutral scent to fill the air. It has a little touch of caramel. I don't know where that's coming from, but it is wonderful on warm. It knocked my socks off. I thought, this is totally different from Cold Sniff. So it has, it's still a very strong vanilla but I really like it on warm as opposed to cold. And that's why it that's why it inverted and switched to my top 10. Moving on to number eight on our list, Quiver. Now this originally was at number 10 on my top 10. And that's only because the floral scents can sometimes either be overpowering, too overpowering, or be too light. So it's they're very iffy. Florals can be very iffy on that note. But this one hit it right out of the ballpark. It was very neutral. It was, um, it would be perfect for date night. My husband actually said it smelled like some shower products and perfumes that I use that he loves. So it is a very good scent. It's not too overpowering. It's not too light and would be great to have um, when you're trying to spend a night in with your hubby and you're trying to set a nice romantic atmosphere. If you're hankering for a bit of nostalgia, you need to try this scent. Number seven, Autumn Blaze Maple. That's right, it was number seven on my 10 least favorite last time, but this time it has reached the top 10. It has arrived. It smells exactly like original Snapple. So yes, the glass bottle drink from the 90s, I'm not sure if that is even still around anymore. I have no idea, but 
this took me right back. I used to love that drink and this took me right back to those times and produced a sense of joy. So I highly recommend this scent if you're looking for something to take you back to the 90s. Time to introduce number six, hazelnut latte. This wax bar smells exactly like coffee with a little bit of hazelnut creamer. So in effect, it is its namesake. Not really much more to say about it. Nobody complained about it. Nobody said anything bad about it. Everybody loved it. And that is why it moved from number four on my least favorite to number six on my top 10. There we go, hazelnut latte, cheers. Time to move on to a scent that smells like Johnny Appleseed on seasonal protein shakes. Can you guess what it is? We have a number five, Apple Press. Now, this originally was number seven on my list, but it did that much better on warm. It was, um, it was very, very apple, very much apple, um, but with just a hint of autumn, like a hint of autumn morning when you're waking up on autumn morning. It's like Johnny Appleseed on steroids. It's, it's fantastic. Moving on to number four, Crumb Top. Now this one is what Rum Raisin Cookie should have been. And yes, I know I'm giving out spoilers. Rum Raisin Cookie did not make it into the top 10. It failed miserably. So that is a little bit of a spoiler, but I'm sure we will all get over it. Everybody will be fine and happy. This one, it smells like oatmeal raisin cookies when you first warm it and then it transforms. It's reminiscent of, get this, chocolate chip cookies freshly baked chocolate chip cookies. Yes. Get this if you want that smell in your home because that is what this resembles. It's totally different from the original description, but it is wonderful. It smells exactly like freshly baked chocolate chip cookies after a little while. Not right away, but after a little while it transforms into that. So get this if you want the smell of chocolate chip cookies in your home. It's good. Very good. Number three on our list is flower shop. Now this wax was kind of iffy because I said this smells great on cold, but it could go an entirely different direction on warm. Have you ever had a scent that was like that? And you're, you're kind of worried. You're a little worried that it's going to go in a different direction. This was honestly one of them. When I put it in the warmer, I actually had a friend over and I realized as soon as I put it in, I was like, what am I doing? You know, well, she smelled it and loved it. It smells as if your friend or significant other has given you a bouquet and you have sliced the stems off of that bouquet. The scent that comes off of slicing those stems, that is what this wax bar is. It smells very comforting, very, um, very nostalgic, very nice. I loved it. I enjoyed it. My friend loved it. She actually went home and bought it herself because she loved it so much. So I'm telling you guys, if you want the scent of a fresh bouquet in your home, this is the one to get. Next to last one and holding its rank is Perk Me Up. This one smells on warm like your local coffee shop mixed with a little touch of luscious chocolate lava cake. So on warm, there was just a little extra note in there and that chocolate lava cake smell, that chocolate lava cake scent shone through beautifully. I fell in love with this scent. The only reason why it didn't was not pushed up to number one is there was one that just went a little bit above that was just a little bit better and you'll find out what that is right now. And now the moment that you have all been waiting for, the number one scent, cranberry muffin. That's right guys, it is so much better on warm. It was terrible on cold, it was awful. I couldn't stand it. It was, for goodness sakes, it was second in rank on the 10 least favorite scents. But when I warmed it, it smelled like a heavenly bakery with currants and sweet spices, not bathroom spices, but good spices. 
I fell in love with this scent, absolutely fell in love with it. I immediately put it into my Scentsy Club. It was just, it boggled my mind because I thought for sure that it was the worst scent. But it just goes to show until you warm a bar, don't completely judge it. So I will still do my cold sniff and warm sniff reviews because it is so different and I like to compare and contrast the differences. I'll make sure to get started warming them earlier next time, but I was surprised. I really was genuinely surprised and that is why this one made it on my top because it, it was the one that changed the most and I mean, everybody loved it. My entire family loved it. So that is why this one ranks number one. Of course, we cannot end this video without mentioning our honorable mentions. And those are coconut pumpkin pie, green tea smoothie, and pear blossom and cucumber. Now, coconut pumpkin pie smells like a crisp autumn morning, which normally I absolutely adore but there were other scents that just knocked it down out of the top 10 spot. Green tea smoothie um, smells a little bit more on the neutral side. It's very light. So I tried to rank it based on strong yet not too strong performers. Um, honestly, it was a toss up between Pima Cotton and coconut pie and green tea smoothie as far as what the number 10 cent would be. So those were very similar in rank and almost were, were not knocked off. Now this one, pear blossom and cucumber, I had to put down because it was so light. It almost didn't even register. So I tried it in a smaller room. It did perform a little bit better, but not enough to be ranked in the top 10. So, I mean, my daughter loved it. It was good. It's not a bad scent. It's not bad, but there are other much better scents out there. And that's all I have for you today. All right, guys, if you are so upset because I did not name your most favorite scent in the top 10 or one of the scents got knocked down and, you know, and they're not in the, in the top 10, then I appreciate your opinion. And if you wanna let me know, just talk to me in the comment section down below, but try and put a positive spin on it. I know it's hard, especially when your favorite scent is not on the list. It's so hard to go, oh, well, you know, it's okay. But trust me, I love you guys, and I love all that you do. I love your opinions. I love who you are. And you are an amazing person and unique just the way you are. On that note, I will be sitting here waiting for you to come back so that we can review the 10 least favorite bars on Warm. Don't be too long. Come back soon. All right, bye-bye. I love the smell of clothes walking. Clothes walking? Clothes walking, yes, yes. Edit here. Ah. This scent sa smells, this scent, whoo, whoo, what am I doing? Ah sounds it sounds exactly yes you can now hear you can now hear the wax bars it is now 4d 4d wax bars there you go